The President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The chamber is now back in session. L'audience est reprise. I would like now to give the floor to Judge Cartwright. Je vais maintenant donner la parole à la juge Cartwright. To speak to the international co-prosecutor. Qui va s'adresser au co-procureur international. Thank you, Mr. President. Vous avez la parole, Mme Cartwright. The uh, concern of the defence uh, was related to the basis on which you put the question to the experts. Uh, if the prosecutor could reframe the question, for example, if the trial chamber were to find or some other appropriate manner, then that would be acceptable. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Thank you, Your Honor, for question. that direction, and I shall abide. Uh, uh, Dr. Cerrone Gilbo, it's not for any party to Madame rule Cyril on the Gilbo, guilt or remorse or its extent of the accused. It's for these learned judges to decide at the end of the trial. Therefore, whatever I'm going to tell you is my interpretation of what the current situation is or may be. Therefore, can I put it to you that should the trial chamber were to conclude that the guilt, the expression of guilt by this accused is not complete, not unqualified, not individually directed at the victims, and if the remorse similarly is not individually directed and very general. How would it be for victims, amongst whom clearly this accused will have to be rehabilitated if the need arose, perceive that? And how would they see the rehabilitation of this accused amidst them? Answer, Professor Cyril je voulais vous dire, je suis un peu embêté par votre question parce que nous avons répondu à la question de savoir si l'accusé est-il réinsérable, irréadaptable en fonction des éléments de sa personnalité, de l'analyse psychologique que nous avons pu faire. Vous évoquez des, le contexte, notamment les victimes. Euh, et là, euh, si vous le permettez, je, voudrais, je, préférerais, je ne préférerais donner la parole à mon, à mon collègue cambodgien. Uh, Within the context of what you proposed, and per our report, we can say that the accused can be rehabilitated. It is our view that before the accused was detained, he had lived in the community and also worked as a primary school teacher. This shows that he made himself to live in the new society. Although he had shown his remorse and of his acknowledgement of guilt, not toward any person in particular, this behavior reflects 
the notion that he can be montre rehabilitated peut être and resized within the society. Au sein de la société. And what I said is based on my interview about et his circumstance before his arrest. Sur la base de, Mr. President, last follow-up question, and I shall finish with my examination. And now, once again, this question is directed to question, both the experts. It is the case of the prosecution experts. that from at least late 60s till the time he was arrested, de la fin des 60, the accused was living in areas sympathetic to the Khmer Rouge. It is the prosecution's case. Till at least 1979, he was clearly living in areas sympathetic to the Khmer Rouge. And as he told you, he was living on the Thai border amongst the Khmer Rouge till at least he was arrested. During this time, at least after 1979, for a large chunk of time, he was living under a false identity. This is the prosecution's case. He was living under a different name to the extent that when he was discovered by two journalists, two journalists and it's quoted in their books, he was angry. How would you perceive the view of the victims Quel serait le point de vue des in victimes? whose midst he'll be living for the first time outside the areas sympathetic to the Khmer Rouge? And if I may rephrase and make my question very small, how would your perception be different of the accused's acceptability for rehabilitation if you were to be told that those areas were sympathetic to his cause and now the rehabilitation will happen those who were directly considering themselves to be the victims of the Khmer Rouge. You may or wish, may not wish to answer this question, but this is our suggestion. Would you make a comment on that? Vous n'êtes pas obligé de répondre à ma question, mais vous pouvez, si vous le souhaitez, faire des commentaires. Dr. The circumstance of living of the accused from 1980 until the day of his arrest, he resided at the Khmer Rouge controlled zone. Although later on, The people living there si suite, sympathized with the, Khmer, with the former Khmer Rouge. Avec les Khmer Rouge. It is still a danger Néanmoins, for someone or a person to live there, il est quand même and it could be de vivre dans cette zone. for someone to be to risk their life living in that area. Et I also speak through my personal experience. When he relocated to live near the Thai border and the frequent changes of his name showed the concern he had and his attempt not to be located or that he might be found through his actual name, so this is a pattern of concealment of his identity, and at that time there was no public announcement yet of the government's policy on reconciliation. And later on through the process we 
have witnessed the anger of the public. However, with the implementation of the win-win policy of the government, certain Khmerus, former Khmerus leaders reintegrated themselves to live in, within the government control area, including Malay, Samlot, and Thailand. Therefore, under the reconciliation policy Donc, of the au, government, à la de despite the anger, the general public malgré, uh, leur colère, seems to be able to manage their anger gérer and allow the integration colère, of the former Khmerus cadres of people. Therefore, based on personal experience and the general observation, and in addition to the ability of the accused, who used to met himself gone through the risky situations and that he still survived, it reflects his ability to sustain and that the reaction de, de, de from the general public does et, not seem to be a life-risking uh, situation for him. He could adapt himself to live in the society pour vivre en and previously he lived with his parents, later passé, on he moved to be on his parents. own, and subsequently, he lived within an unclear certainty of self-suspicion and suspicion on everybody else. And even if living in a life-risking situation, he still could adapt himself to such a condition. And with the reconciliation policy of the government, it seems that it provided him with a better opportunity to live and to reintegrate himself in the Cambodian society amongst those general public. Thank you. Thank you for your indulgence, Mr. President. Your Honours, I have no further questions. Je vous remercie de m'avoir permis de poser ces questions. Je n'ai plus de questions maintenant. The President, uh, Mr. Lang Wagner, you take the floor. Monsieur, <coughs> Mr. Werner, Monsieur President, Madame, Monsieur Mr. Juge, President, just a uh, rapid request. Uh, just a um, very you savez, quick request. As international you know, the international expert uh, started this morning, morning directement aux victimes, by addressing herself fait de même directly to the victims, and she did the same this Et afternoon. Comme vous le savez, les victimes and ne sont pas présentes pour la première fois depuis le début de ce procès pour écouter cet expert, ce contrairement aux autres experts. Alors, à tout le monde, à tout le monde, nous demandons à cette chambre d'expliquer de, aux deux experts pourquoi est-ce qu'ils témoignent en l'absence des parties civiles et pourquoi est-ce que les avocats des parties civiles ne peuvent pas leur poser des questions. Nous pensons qu'à tout le monde, ce serait normal et nous vous demandons formellement que cette information soit communiquée aux deux experts.
President, uh, Mr. Alang Wagner, could you please Mr. be Alain informed Alain. that uh, the chamber is not uh, obliged uh, to explain to the expert in relation to their testimony. And Dans le contexte de leur déposition, regarding the decision made uh, by the trial chamber, in which uh, the civil party lawyers are not allowed uh, to put questions to the experts, in l'occurrence que les avocats des parties civiles ne sont pas autorisés à poser des questions à ces deux experts, or to the accused regarding the concernant testimony on character la personnalité de l'accusé. The decision is clear and the grounds uh, for the decision prise, elle est claire et les motifs de cette décision will be made available in due course and uh, the decision has been made uh, based on the majority decision, although there was a dissenting opinion by si one of the judges, and Mr. Alain Werner and the parties to the proceeding are quite uh, familiar with uh, the proceedings before the tribunal, because you also know how uh, much time is needed uh, for the translation of any decision made uh, by the tribunal, so we believe uh, you have already been well informed already. Mr. President, uh, the defend, uh, this Civil Party Council, you may proceed, but with new matter, Maître not Martineau, with the same prie, matter. Un point nouveau, vous plaît. Monsieur le Président, Ms. Martineau, le point est pas uh, Mr. President, nouveau, this point cour, is not completely la, new, although I'm uh, new in this court, of Madame, course. Uh, simplement, uh, simply, la question the uh, qui vient d'être uh, développée par mon confrère uh, uh, Alain Vernet était importante de la poser car uh, nous trouvions que dans ce procès raise, il était important que les experts sachent pourquoi experts uh, les partis civils n'étaient pas là, que votre cours n'est pas à l'expliquer. Nous l'entendons naturellement, of course, we mais wait for the si les partis civils ne sont pas là, c'est qu'ils estiment qu'un droit leur a été retiré, ils sont partis au procès, un droit leur a été retiré, right. et uh, uh, elles veulent manifester right leur mécontentement, et leur exclusion, 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 de their um, purpose to questions. understand the accused and to put questions to him and to the experts. And I believe that it's important that the experts be at least aware of what's going on. The civil parties are not there. They asked their lawyers to be here. We are here. We respect the court. So therefore, I believe that it's important that this be stated. Thank you. The President, uh, we would like to reiterate our position and we stand by it. Je répète notre position. The Defense Council, you are now given the opportunity to put the questions to que the experts. Et je donne maintenant la parole à la Défense pour qu'elle pose des questions aux Mr. Kassavut, uh, Mr. President, uh, thank you, le your honors. Good afternoon, bon Madame Francois Sigourney Gilbo and uh, Mr. Casson Bonat. Madame Could you please Sironi, help us to clarify whether the Je vous poser apology la the uh, expression of remorse is genuine or not? Est-ce que les expressions de remords de l'accusé sont sincères ou non? Et les excuses qu'il a, qu a présentées. Mm. 
Dr. Sironi Gilbert. dire, les experts. Euh, euh, une expertise psychologique n'est pas dans un rapport de vérité. Elle n'a pas exprimé ce qui est le vrai du faux. Ce n'est pas notre rôle. Notre mission a été d'éclairer la cour sur la psychologie du, de l'accusé. Ce que nous pouvons dire, c'est qu'en matière de regret, de remords, de, de culpabilité, si on prend euh, la ligne euh, logique et une, avec une, comment dire, une, une, une avancée dans la prise de conscience de ce, qui, de ce que quelqu'un a fait et de nous pouvons témoigner d'une évolution dans le discours de l'accusé depuis que nous avons vu. Et nous pouvons voir que, nous avons vu un développement dans ce que l'accusé a dit depuis le début. Donc, parler de guilt nous sommes dans un contexte interculturel dans ce procès et de savoir aussi comment s'exprime la culpabilité dans une culture, comment elle s'exprime dans une autre, comment elle s'exprime dans une autre, comment elle s'exprime dans une autre, elle s'exprime, nous l'habitude dans les sociétés occidentales d'avoir une expression euh, de, 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 de la culpabilité. Nous avons pour habitude aussi, je le disais précédemment, euh, qu'il y, y a des problèmes somatiques, qu'il y a de la, de la, de la, de la, de la dépression, qu'il peut y avoir plein de choses qui se passent lorsqu'on est dans une culpabilité. We experience euh, guilt. Nous ne sommes pas uh, dans and, cette and, dimension and, là and, avec uh, l'accusé. Et peut-être que mon uh, maybe, collègue uh, Nassim peut dire aussi quelque accused, chose however. en matière But de maybe culpabilité. Est-ce que la culpabilité well. est-elle uh, un concept uh, universel ou non Ou est-ce qu'elle est différente uh, uh, Et là, on 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 se reste avec cette question-là. Et donc, nous restons avec cette question-là. Et donc, nous restons avec cette question-là. At that question. So my conclusion would be to say that we cannot answer a question regarding the truth, but we can answer a question regarding the accused's development in regards to the awareness of what he did to the others and in regard to the awareness of his acts and the fact that he is able to take on his responsibilities. Dr. Carson Bernard, uh, I may add that the tribunal wishes to find the truth. The genuine truth. But we were not supposed to search for the Mais de notre côté, apology or the forgiveness, uh, that uh, or the, the remorsefulness uh, the accused uh, expressed uh, lately, and uh -huh. we did not really attempt to uh, work on that. However. The first time I met uh, with Deutsch, les, les remords de l'accusé ou ses regrets. I did not La première fois ask que him any question que yet, question but he already expressed his opinion that he would uh, seek forgiveness and would express his remorsefulness. So whether it is a genuine expression or not, uh, I may non. not be in the position to Je ne suis pas à même verify it, uh, but I have witnessed uh, the vérifier. situation. Je suis simplement témoin Mr. Kassabou, thank you Maître Kassabou, very much. Merci. I would like to proceed to the next question. Je passe à ma question suivante. In your report, uh, you indicated that uh, the accused uh, 
is a person who is easily affected uh, est and une personne very emotional influenceable and impressionable. easily affected uh, by the others. Can you please tell the court whether this kind of uh, being easily affected uh, by si the other or influenced by the other had been well embedded uh, in the accusation he was born? Est quelque chose qui est typique de l'accusé depuis sa naissance. Dr. Casson Bonnard, I would like to respond that uh, the influence he receives from the Je others peux vous dire que Doc a été influencé par d'autres. Of course, he um, he has uh, been influenced uh, by the others, but only in given circumstances for example he was influenced by the monks by the, his teachers and by the suffering Cambodian people have had so these are the influences uh, he has uh, been affected by However, when it comes to the communist regime, Mais lorsque arrive the influence, au as what you refer to and as what the uh, said uh, the uh, the accused himself already indicated clearly that he chose the communist regime because at that time. Uh, it, he was uh, influenced by the surrounding environment, internal and external ones, because he said uh, when he worked and when he witnessed uh, the exploitation of the poor, for example, the excessive interest rates uh, the rich uh, have imposed uh, on the poor when the poor were lent the money. Par les plus aux plus and uh, that uh, because he was so poor that when his bicycle was uh, stolen, then he could not uh, proceed uh, further with volée, his education and that he contributed uh, some of his uh, salary to help uh, the movement of the revolution. And on top of this, uh, the Maoism and the communism uh, cela, le Maoisme et le communisme. were taking, taking the place of uh, the existing rule uh, that uh, many believe that uh, the poor would uh, be better living in such a regime uh, in the communism. So uh, he believes that uh, there would be only communism the communist rule that would be imposed on the country that the people could liberate themselves from, be, from the poverty. That's why he was influenced by such ideology, communist by uh, uh, ideology. In his communism. Ways of life uh, during the regime, the Khmer Rouge Et dans son regime. Comportement sous le régime Khmer Rouge, Although he did not uh, want uh, to take some assignments, uh, he had to be compelled départ, uh, to be promoted to or to accept uh, the offer, the position of the chairman of uh, uh, the detention facility, and that uh, he had to. Uh, meticulously uh, il a dû execute uh, his duty s'acquitter de ses fonctions de façon méticuleuse although he was not pleased uh, with the position as the Même chairman of S21 uh, under the duress of from his uh, superior his former teacher uh, who influenced him a lot, uh, he had uh, to 
be abided by the orders and the duties. Les Later on, donnés. Par la suite, he started his new life uh, living together in the community, becoming a teacher, a school teacher. So without any influence uh, from the society, he could not have been société, working as a teacher again. Il ne pas and most importantly, he has received uh, influence from the others, and at the same time, he adjusts, adapts himself uh, to the environment, regardless of the harsh environment or modest one. So, uh, by this, I can say that uh, he is easily influenced uh, by the others. Mr. Carsavut, thank you. Maître Carsavut, merci. I note uh, that uh, the accused is weak, and that because of poverty, which uh, he and the family has lived uh, with when he was born, Il est né avec uh, do you think that because of these problems, the accused uh, could have lived with some kind of mental health problem? This is no more than mental que ce soit. Mr. Carson Bonnard, uh, this is a good question. Uh, have you finished your question yet? I'm sorry. It is a good question indeed. Votre question est tout à fait pertinente. When he was young, the accused Dans sa jeunesse, lived in a poor family in the rural area, à la and uh, the family condition was burdened by pauvre. the debt uh, his father Et owed to the others. And Alors, this bond of debt uh, and the difficulties he had encountered cette, uh, situation did not make him weak. Instead, uh, it faible. helped make him find out the course route of the problem, and it made him study hard, and uh, he became one of the best students in class. So having compared the difficulties he had uh, encountered, people could argue that it would be hard for him to become a good student in Phnom Penh, because during that time, anyone who could have done or gone that far to school, everyone had to really uh, financially capable. So if he had a uh, mental health problem, it would be depression only, not other. And as to this depression, the symptom of such a Et pour parler de dépression, problem is that uh, the person would not feel encouraged to work ne se and pas their memory or his memory becomes uh, weakened. Et sa At faiblit. that time, if he lived with that kind of mental health problem, he problème, could not uh, have managed uh, mental, to finish his a teaching degree, uh, and the reason he chose to study mathematics reflects that uh, he is the one who loves logic. It reflects that uh, the difficulties he had encountered made him try to understand, to establish the truth or the fact uh, of the problem, and this helped build his stance and um, a construit, a construit sa position. and resilient. So this helps him overcome the depression. So that's why de se résilient et de surmonter la dépression. Uh, he chose uh, mathematics Cela explique les choisi les mathématiques as a field of study which reflects that his mentality has been good. So having 
uh, experienced uh, difficulties does not really connaître les difficultés deteriorate uh, the uh, person's mentality but uh, the, the opposite it uh, build personne, up resilience au contraire uh, in the individual résilience de la personne concernée Mr. Casabot, thank Mr. you. Casabot, merci. At uh, S21, the accused uh, uh, knows for sure that uh, all the confessions uh, were not true. Uh, que les aveux qui avaient été obtenus n'étaient pas vrais. The accused still admitted or accepted uh, these untrue Or, confessions and annotated on them to be sent to the superior. Does supérieurs. this work affect uh, the accused mental problem or fitness? Dr. Kasabunat, for ordinary people, this type of action would lead them to extreme remorse, and it could ultimately affect the mental being, serious mental being of that person. But in hindsight, his stand was firm due to his uh, adolescence and experience, particularly in the report, we also showed that his position from adolescent to adulthood was further strengthened by the communist ideology, and that made him a strong person to face those challenges. Although we are not certain of the feeling of remorse, we can for certain know of his ability to challenge such circumstances. Thank you. Merci. Thank you, Mr. Professor. Je vous en prie, de mettre à vote. Oui, merci. Yes, thank you. Je voudrais uh, I would like, um, euh, ajouter à ce qu'a dit mon, mon collègue plusieurs choses. D'abord, sur la dernière chose. First of all, regarding Nous avons parlé tout à l'heure de regrets, de remords, de culpabilité. Euh, je pense que, comme mon collègue dit, nous ne sommes pas sûrs des remords. Je dirais, pour ma part, euh, que c'est la question de la, du sentiment de l'éprouver, du sentiment de culpabilité qui questionne. Et non pas tant la question des regrets euh, et des remords. En tout cas, pour ma part, et il est aussi convenu qu'on peut avoir sur certains points euh, des, des, des divergences ou des avis euh, des bon, différents. En ce qui concerne son enfance, les types de troubles mentaux, je, pardon, je voudrais juste ajouter que je suis d'accord avec mon collègue, je mettrai l'accent sur l'impact du sentiment de dévalorisation, peut-être du sentiment d'infériorité compte tenu de ce qui a été dit, euh, qui a aussi euh, poussé Butch à, euh, à, à dépasser et, comme on dit, à à s'en sortir. Quand, en ce qui concerne les aveux, le fait qu'il savait qu'il y avait des, des faux aveux, eh bien, il ne faut pas oublier aussi que ce qui était important pour, pour Dutch, c'était probablement aussi de plaire à ses supérieurs, et notamment à l'époque de, de, de Sonsen. Et ceci peut aussi euh, expliquer qu'il avait, quand rédigeant des aveux sous la forme adéquate à ce qu'il supposait qu'on en attendait, à savoir toujours donner raison à ceux qui pensaient qu'il y avait des complots et qu'il y avait des espions à, à, à débusquer, 
Eh bien, uh, cela, d'une part, le préservait, protégeait sa, sa place à S21, et en même temps, il nourrissait de cette manière-là le système. Thank you, madame, for your response. Madame, pour ce complément de réponse. The accused repeatedly declares that all the crimes committed at S21 are his responsibility and that he would not allow any of his subordinates to be involved or implicated alongside with him because those subordinates directly received orders from him. My question is, why the accused has this type of psychological feeling toward his subordinates? Dr. Carson based on our analyzing of the situation and the process and also his uh, mental building from childhood, it seems that he is a kind of person who is conscious of other people's well-being in French we would say or in English altruism altruism and this behavior made him considerate on those people who were suffering and that led him to protest against the government in order to find the a situation a betterment for the people and he even abandoned his family in order to join a movement as he believed that movement that line would be able to find justice and peace for the Cambodian people this attitude also reveals the feeling of pitiful to other people, a, which further developed. However, regarding his Mais responsibility at S21, a person who S21, was in a chairmanship, who issued orders, qui dirigeait le centre, S21, qui donnait des ordres, was Deutsch. And issuing orders or teaching the interrogation methods were also organized by him with the intention of showing that he was a role model for them to follow. And in his name, as someone who was responsible, he had the view that from the beginning he was the responsible person because everything was organized and managed based on his supervision. People or his subordinates had to follow his orders. So, one, because of his protective idea of other people and do not want other people to suffer with him and through because of his role as the chairman of that center. These two factors combined together make him feeling responsible for all those crimes. Thank you, doctor, for your response. I also have another question on this topic, which I would like you to clarify. Et j'aimerais vous demander d'éclaircir un certain point. 
In your report, you conclude that you conclude on page 55 that was unconscious of other people's feeling from the beginning until the present day. However, his student which mentions on page 33, describes him as, a, as an honest person, determined and loyal, loyal and always assisted the poorer people. So to me, these two statements seem to contradict each other. And what you have explained is in agreement with what was said by his student. But it is in the contradiction to the other statement which say that Deutsche was unconscious or inconsiderate to other people's feelings. Would you be able to shed light on this? Il faudrait pour cela revenir juste un petit peu en arrière concernant l'altruisme qui a été évoqué par mon collègue, parce que bien évidemment, concernant de Dutch, euh, concernant tout ce que nous savons de lui ici, cela peut euh, peut-être euh, questionner. Cet altruisme, euh, ce que mon collègue a appelé euh, l'altruisme, on pourrait dire qu'il s'agit d'un altruisme sous condition, à savoir, euh, moi j'ajouterais de partager la même vision du monde. De, ou de construire la même vision du monde. Ce n'est pas un altruisme comme on, comme on peut l'entendre dans le langage français. C'est un altruisme ciblé vers la construction d'une nouvelle société. Alors, ce que vous évoquez, euh, euh, je ne vois pas à mon sens, de contradiction dans ce que nous avons écrit dans le, dans le rapport. Euh, parce que euh, la, question, la question de la désempathie a eu lieu, euh, s'est révélée euh, plus tard. Elle s'est révélée dans un contexte précis qui était celui de, son, de, de ses prises de fonction à M13, à S21. On ne n'est pas désempathique là non plus. On le, on le devient. Alors, nous avons évoqué ce matin euh, la, le rôle aussi du stoïcisme qui avait déjà façonné son, son, son identité. Euh, donc on peut à la fois être décrit à un moment donné de sa vie avant, comme euh, ce, que vous, ce qui a été décrit par son, son étudiant, et puis plus tard, euh, convaincu d'une idée à laquelle on consacre sa vie, euh, euh, faire ce qu'il a été amené à faire, c'est-à-dire considérer les autres comme des, comme des ennemis. Et à partir de ce moment-là, on est dans la dimension de la déshumanisation. A, a dimension of dehumanization. So, thank you very much. Let me now ask my last question. J'aimerais maintenant poser ma dernière question. The grandparents of Deutsch on both sides, they had a Chinese origin. That's the Chinese origin and the feeling of having ancestral origin from China make him believe to have a Society, or social, a, a social, a society of communism in the same way as China people want. Exactement comme le souhaitait la population chinoise. Dr. Carsonat. Dr. 
when we talk about the ancestors and the transferring of feeling from the grandparents to the grandchildren or the the chromosome factor, it could only exist physically. Only the physical appearance can be passed on from your ancestor. But it is unlikely that the feeling can also be transferred from your ancestor. In a research, of a twin ah, coming de from the same oval, it means they all had physical similarity, but they were separated and they were raised uh, separately. And when they grow up, their feelings are not the same. This example clearly shows that even if Dutch ancestors had Chinese origin and their customary way of practice was China, from, was from China, it doesn't mean that Dutch had to be treated with such behavior or feeling. Wherever we lived, regardless of the location, we have to hang on to an identity. For instance, uh, Cambodian migrants who might live in Australia, in America, they always try to locate other Cambodian migrants to be their friends des immigrés cambodgiens pour s'en faire des amis. In order to form ideas to discuss amongst themselves. Pour pouvoir parler so entre eux. So this tendency help them to form an Et identity of that group. Cela leur permet de former une identité. In Dutch cast, I Deutsch, believe that Dutch identity originated from his Chinese ancestor, and there might be similar traits he obtained from his ancestors and then to his parents, as his parents observed and practiced Chinese or certain Chinese customs and traditions. This does not mean he received a complete trait from his ancestors. Qu il a, qu il a reçu un trait de also, during de ses that time, even if I Et was born époque, uh, at a later stage, même si moi, je suis né the ethnic people living in Cambodia, including Et the Vietnamese and Chinese, Personne who came to settle in Cambodia, qui sont venus apparently they were degraded or devalued by the Cambodian people, uh, and that hurt their feeling and made them strive to survive, et, uh, to gain cela, their dignity. And this does not mean they want the same policy as practice and used in China, because they are educated in the Cambodian school. So their way of thinking, their mentality is about Cambodian culture. Though there might be some traits of Chinese origin with them. Also, at that time, Cambodia had relationship with China and Mao Zedong held le Cambodge his uh, avec, uh, communist Zedong, movement and activity and was successful in China qui, uh, and that had certain influence on Cambodian the Cambodian Chinese ways of thinking and not because he was or he had Chinese origin, but he believed in the land or in the, the policy of communism that he believed in that would help his people. Further on, 
It was his idea to help those poor people whose majority was Cambodian so that their standard of living would improve. So we could therefore conclude that the trait of a feeling customary practice do not pass on from the ancestor, but it is the way of nurture that he earned all these traits. Thank you, Mr. and Madam Expert. I no longer have questions for you. And with the President's leave, I would like my international colleague to put questions to these two experts. President, International Defense Council, you may proceed. Monsieur le Président, étant donné l'heure, euh, je pose la question à la Chambre. Est-ce qu'il ne serait pas préférable que je pose mes questions demain matin Il me reste presque 40 minutes, mais je pense que ça serait mieux pour tout le monde. The president. After discussion, the chamber has the view that the 40 or 50 minutes for the International Defense Council is going to be a long time, and it's going to put more stress on the interpreters as well as on the experts. Therefore, the chamber will adjourn the hearing today, and we will resume tomorrow morning, starting from 9 a.m. And for Mr. and Madame Expert, the questioning for you has not yet finished. And the Chamber would like to invite you again to the Chamber tomorrow morning, starting from 9 a.m. And it is likely that uh, it will take only one hour of your time tomorrow morning. Security guards take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back before 9 a.m. tomorrow. The hearing is now adjourned.